Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today I want to go over my EV watch list that I have accumulated over the past couple months. I really am bullish on the car sector and especially now that these EVs are starting to run. I think this is the way into the future and within 5 to 20 years we're going to have pretty good capacity out on the streets. And they're, well, the more they build the prices will be more uh, brought down to the middle class and maybe the used cars will start even going to the lower class. So I'm excited about the, <clears throat> the EV market, and we're going to go through a couple right now. First, I want to start off with Nile. I really like Nile. I'm going to move this over here to the right, pull up my chart. This got my SMA's chart on this. These are my 50 and my 200. And we're going to go ahead. First thing we're going to do is pull up the yearly chart. I always like to look at the yearly chart and see where that 50's lying and that 200. We've had a pretty nice little breakout and she's been above that 50 all the way. We're going to pull up the 20 day and we're going to try to find some support levels. Now Nile has a resistance up here right around the $54 area. We're going to chalk that in for right now. And we're going to draw a couple other resistance lines in here so when it does time, time for the breakout we can have it. We're creating a pennant flag right here which is a semi-symmetrical bullish bearish flag will build up and eventually have a breakout we might pull back to the bottom line to this trend line here and i'm going to go ahead and extend that on the right way to the right and that pulls right up to my first support level of 42.35 now that will develop a descending triangle but also i think it'll bounce up off that descending triangle like it did right in here before and i'm always looking for chart patterns ascending descending breakout profit takers and that's probably about a 50 percent retracement and then on a bounce up to about midway and then pulling on back and consolidating it'll eventually squeeze out in a couple of days and maybe next week we'll start getting another bounce or it'll reject that and pull back to support level that's going to be nile i'm not as bullish on nile as i am on tesla tesla we did well yesterday what a stock to look at I mean, look at this periodic breakout we had here. She pulled back to about midway, about a 50% retracement on that breakout, and then started coiling up, <clears throat> then had another breakout, and now we're sitting here at 483.20. Now, um, I read, let me see here. I was going, kind of going through some of the, <clears throat> some of the homework here, and I know that uh, Morgan Stanley upgraded Tesla. And I know someone else put a price target on Tesla to five, five seventy eight, something like that. So I'm very bullish on Tesla right now, that's for sure. And uh, I like the Morgan Stanley, and I don't think the EV car credits is that big of a deal. What I'm more interested in on the output that the cars are coming out and the quality of the car. So I'm definitely strong, definitely strong on the uh, on Tesla. So let's go ahead and look at the chart. I have a low support right here at right around 473.50. If it does decide to pull back right here where that fat finger was and right off the 200 on the five day. And definitely if it pulls back more, but I can't see it getting, if it does knife and people start, s and is not looking too good right now. It definitely had a bad day yesterday in the Dow. I think we're opening up red this morning. Yeah. So we have to kind of, just play with the momentum. I like to see this support level hold though, this 473.50, and I want to see it break resistance level of right around here at 488.55 today. If we can break that, we'll double top up here and I'll get out of the trade. Now I sold four contracts yesterday and did very well on the contracts and I held one. And that's a lot of people, <clears throat> you, when, you, when you have a breakout like that, take that profit. And keep one on the table. At least you know you've got that money in your wallet and it can pull back and you can jump back into the trade. So that's going to be Tesla. The next one we're going to look at on the EV watch list is going to be NKLA. It started breaking out yesterday. Let me go ahead and change this here. This is my other chart that I use. It's called my EMA chart and this is what I day trade with. I use the SMA just to try to find a, well, that's my VWAP. I use the, the SMAs for 
just an idea of where we are. Like we had this golden cross right here, and look what happened. Bam. And all this time here, it was kind of, and I still would be trading this trade. But anytime that 50 is under that 200, it's kind of bearish. But once it breaks that 200, that's called a golden cross. And the golden cross, you end up having a nice little breakout. So for beginners, I would suggest maybe start off with the SMAs. Start off with that 50 and 200. And then move into the EMAs, which are a more faster uh, price action when it comes to day trading and trying to find supports, I use them as moving averages. So we definitely had that breakout. We're going to create a channel in here. I think it is an ascending triangle. I'd like to see it pull back to support. Now support's got a hold right here at 2480. If it doesn't hold there, it'll drop down to this previous high. And that's right here at 2283. NKLA starting to move up. Keep a good eye on it. That's the next one. Let me see. I've got Solo on here. Let's take a look at Solo. It's also had a nice little breakout. I like Solo. It's a little bitty mini kind of car that they can use for transit. Uh, just like a one-person car that they can drive around tramp town. I drive around all the time by myself. I mean, 99% of the time. So, yeah, single. I wouldn't mind having solo if I was in a big city or something. But I liken it. We're building a channel. We did finally break out of that channel. And it's kind of like an ascending triangle breakout. As I, as I say, when I say ascending triangle, let's go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. Well, let's do this. I'm going to move this over a little bit. I'm really, really excited, like I said, about the EV car industry. But I always like to, I play off chart patterns. I'm a technical trader. I like to buy at support and sell at resistance. I haven't met a trader that doesn't like to do that yet. Buy at support, sell at resistance. So when you see that first sign of weakness. But here we are. We've got a nice little ascending triangle, the resistance to break. It's going to be right here as I draw this up. Now I'm not using the body. I'm using the body of the candlesticks. That's the resistance that we need to break. 731. Now I took it off the bodies of these two candles right here and look what we did. We're set up for another maybe ascending triangle here from yesterday's. And then if we do that, we can break out to the higher highs of 791. Or we can pull back to support level at 690. That really needs to hold. It probably can drop a little bit farther than that. I'm going to try to find an equilibrium in this channel or in this here, and I think it's right about in here. Yeah, right about there. So it can pull back to 645 for your second support. Your first one right here at 690, and then that third one's going to be right down here, right around 614 for the retrace back up to keep this pattern going. But we, we, want, we want to hold this. And we want to hold this. And this thing can pull back to this line right here off this ascending triangle. So that's solo. Let's look at another one. I've got a pretty good little watch list in here. I might go ahead and drop it down below in this video so I can share it with everybody. It's on TOS. It's on TOS. Here's another one. XPEV is another one I've been watching. It's up almost. Wow, well, shoot, man. Look at that. This sucker's up almost 100% since I alerted it down here. We ran all the way up to 51-something. See, they're all, all of them's having the same kind of pattern. They're all consolidating for a squeeze. Now, that the S&P's hurting a little bit, it could affect it. But I think the EV car market is going to be strong for a long time. And we're, we're, we're at that stage where we have that initial breakout. And then they pull back and consolidate. And then we have another one. This is a stair step pattern that I'm very used to. And we could be due for another breakout on up to a higher high. Support 39.51. That previous high we had right here. Resistance to break is going to be... Oh. Yeah, I'm going to put these three. We've got to break this red line at 143.18. That's a strong PP in the channel. And if we break that... We can come up here and double top at 46.72 and maybe break these resistance levels on the way up. And we're flagging out 
So it's doing the same thing as that pennant flag will tell you. And we're getting ready to squeeze. This one might pop a little bit sooner. Drop or pop. Now the pull back, always on the 20 day, is going to be this 200 SMA. The next one we're going to look at. Chicks, a new one on my ad I added to my watch list yesterday. I'm really liking this one for sure. It's a starter company. I think it can pull back to support. I'll be adding it to my watch list. It just started breaking out. I got to see it consolidate and pull back to 1350 something, 1338. Maybe a low, strong buy at 1260, right down in this channel. I'd like to see it really pull back to that and knife back on up. So that's CIIC. I just added it to my EV watch list yesterday. Let's see what else we got. Plug. Plug's another good one. We're going to have to have, you know, plug and uh, blink. Might look at blink too. Plug's had a pretty nice little run. I did have a support here at 1881. I'm going to raise that up here to this level right in here. Just for now. And it'll give me a pre-alert. Maybe to, if I want to hold it. But I like this channel in here. That support level did bounce off this once. We could retrace back up off that support. Or it'll pull back into this lower channel of right around 20 bucks. And continue back up and find resistance on the way up. Plug. And I'm going to see if I got Blink in here. I'm going to have to have them charging stations. There it is. Blink. So we got Plug and Blink's had a nice little breakout in the past four days. Actually in the past couple of weeks. It could pull back to support level and that's going to be right here at 1431. Or maybe the second support at 1387 with that support channel down here. The pivot point between the breakout and that's right around 1340 to 1356. That's Blink. Let me see what else we got on here that I can look into. We got Solo, Blink, Plug, Workhorse. Here. So we got Workhorse right here. Workhorse did kind of go to my channel of resistance up here. I'll pull that up on the, uh, let me see where we got this from. Got it from right here. So this must have been an old time a while back when this channel started to break and it failed that channel and pulled back. So we can let's go ahead and take another look at it on the 20 day. I always got to adjust these little support channels. This one now is at 2149. I want to see this channel hold right in here. If not, it can pull back to this previous high we had down here at 19. 62 right there I'm gonna chalk that up in a red line because I want to remember that number this is workhorse so we've got a low support down here right around 1958 that first one is 2120 I'd like to see that hold between 2120 and 2149 and continue all the way up this is workhorse now this does fluctuate a little bit so if you do start seeing a trend, it's always good to buy them dips. See what happens when you buy the dip? You get a little pop. Happens every time. So always follow the trend and don't rush it. You can't beat the trend. Let the trend be your friend. That's workhorse. Trend. Study trends. And that's about FUV. I like it. It's had a nice little breakout. FUV. Pullback support is going to be right around this 6, 860 area. We are starting to come down a little bit. We do have a little channel of support. Oh man, real strong buy if we do see 7 bucks. But I'm thinking maybe kind of just drawing places of consolidation. We had the three black, three, three white soldiers right in here and then it kind of flopped around a little bit. Pullback supports are going to be these three areas right here. 860, 880. 13 and 775 needs to hold strong buy down here at seven bucks and that's fuv and i think that'll be the conclusion of my pre-market ev watch list and we're going to go ahead and go straight to the website hit that like button subscribe for future updates and notifications of when i do put out my watch list videos i also throw out a few lessons every once in a while every video i do is a lesson and there's always something 
exciting when you know that Jim Washboard Jim has some of the best extended trend lines that you could ever follow. And to follow that path would be great for your future. So there's many traders out there. If we just take a little piece of everybody, you can overwhelm yourself and become a great trader. And that is, I love stocks. Everybody, have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.